Hello, can you hear me? Yes. Hello. You can hear me? Okay, good. Hello. Hello. Oh, there's your baby. Okay, you can hear me, correct? Yes. Okay, good. Thank you. I, I have a different a different headset today, so yeah, I noticed that. Yeah, I have a a Sony something. Sony, yeah. <laughs> but I don't like it because I'm I'm used to my microphone. Um, and this is just the, the string. All right. How are you guys? How was your day today? Very busy day. <laughs> yeah. The traffic is horrible, right? Yeah. These days are horrible. Today's the beginning of a long, long run. The next week. Even worse. Yeah. <laughs> Today's D Day. Yeah. Hello, Marvin. How are you? Hey, hello, Mister. Hello, guy. And I'm fine. Uh, and you? I'm cool too. Thank you. Everything. Yeah. Everything. Everything. Okay. Same old. Same old. Yeah. <laughs> Waiting for the Christmas day, right? Uh, not really. To be honest no. with you, I, I don't really, really? Like... Do you prepare something for dinner, something special, turkey? Yes, yes, we do. The turkey you want? <laughs> the turkey I want, yeah, so I don't have to pay anything now. <laughs> um, yeah, but you know, to be honest with you, I don't, I don't really enjoy Christmas anymore. It's kind of boring. I mean, it's not boring, but the problem is like, you know, you have to go visit a lot of family, my family, my wife's family, and you know, and by the time you're there, it's already 10, 11 at night, and you're sleepy already. <laughs> I think that day is very tired. Yes. Mm -hmm. So I just, I just, I go to sleep early that day. It's like more the weekend than the 24. <laughs> yeah. It's true, it's true. <laughs> I enjoy more the weekends. Yeah. Hold on, let me see one thing. Do you guys still celebrate Christmas? Just in family. Just family, right? Yeah. Hold on, I'm opening my email because I want to open the um <clears throat> the page. Hold on, give me one second, please. I'm opening this right now. Who, who is good with emails? With what? Like, do, do you use a lot your Gmail? Not really for sending mail. <laughs> did, did, did your platform open up today yes you didn't have any problems no no 
Mm. Mine is not opening. And it's strange because I'm I'm opening everything again. It didn't save my information. Maybe is there a connection? No, I don't think so. I don't think it's my connection. Hold on. Give me one minute, class. I'm opening this again. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, no worries. Okay, it's open. It's strange because this is my computer. It's my personal computer. And uh, I just, every uh, like all the passwords are saved. And uh, today, since I, I turned it on, it's asked me for every password. It's either that or somebody hacked me already. All right. <clears throat> Hi, Ingrid. Hi. How are you? I'm all right. You look fresh. Did you just take a shower? Yes. I had to go. Well, I'm working now. I have been working since Monday. So. Wait, so you hadn't been working before? No, I have been working in a company now. Oh, you're not working independent anymore? Yes, no, 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 for the moment, no, it's very complicated. So now you are, uh, you are an employee. This moment, mm -hmm. because I need to uh, organize my business too, so, so, but I need um, okay. uh, a budget. Of course, yeah. So, but now you work like normal in, in a company, you don't work freelance anymore. No, uh, well, I'm I'm going to do that because I really like um, um, work as a freelance too. Mm -hmm. Because uh, the time uh, is uh, you can handle the times, and the and the area I think allows me to do that. Okay, interesting. Yeah. I'm okay. a business woman. <laughs> when are you going to open your business? I remember something about under uh, undergarments, right? Mm, uh, no, that's a uh, for for women lingerie for women, but it's lingerie uh, lingerie for women, yes. Yeah, but I need money to buy it, <laughs> <laughs> and it's very expensive uh, because of the um, taxes. You know, it was funny. I don't know how to say importaciones. I don't know how the to imports. say that. Imports. The imports. imports. The imports are very expensive because uh, you have to pay the 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 um, price of the the receipt plus IVA and and uh, to these amounts they they add you the the importation tax it's very expensive that is a a 30 percent of the of the the amount of the receipt uh, and plus uh, i don't know how to say flete what is flete uh, the, it's, it's like the a transportation ship, ship, the, shipping yeah it's like a ship the oh, transportation okay. shipping uh, yes the shipping oh, okay hey um He's not here today to give me his opinion, Marvin. Because right now you just gave me a technical word, flete. Flete is not an everyday word, it's a technical word. Yes. So that was similar to, um, no, not Marvin. Um, I yesterday, remember we were Ricardo? talking about yes. Yeah. Ricardo, yes. No, we were talk no. no. Hey, I compound different, different prices. Yes, yeah. that we are talking about it's property. It's the cost of everything in the transportation, yeah. It's the, the insurer. Yeah, that's true. All yeah, these police terms. It's expensive because it's about... 
and and is is and is expensive so so your your online is nice. it's going to be an online store correct mm, I, i'm not sure about that because i think it's uh, it's going to be working in a um, online store yeah. so it's going to be exclusive mm, is the line because it's not a uh, no it's exact linear is a um a specialized yes i remember you told me mm -hmm. no but still it could be exclusive because that's like, for example, is, it, is that for example for women? I, I don't know that women that have like extremely big breasts and they need a bra to for their back. Yeah, that is not common here. Um, mastectomy too, because uh, in this in here you can find it in Electrolab, but it's very expensive, really expensive. Yeah. I had so a I friend, want to. I had a friend that she she has very very like very very big breasts, Bodhisita man, and um. Yeah. she tells she tells my wife that she has to wear like special bras that pull because of her back is giving her a lot of problems yes and i found now um various um i found varieties in in colombia and they are very good they okay. have very good under under underwear for women okay have you been to colombia yes twice nice are people as beautiful as they seem mm, mm, in bogota yes in other uh, in the um, in in other places no there are um, there are more beautiful people in costa rica i heard that, I heard mm, that. nine are, are I handsome nine are handsome the 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 the, the one is regular <laughs> oh really <laughs> yes so nine out of ten are handsome and the other one's regular yeah no the other one definitely i agree with but, you. but in <laughs> colombia the women are very uh, the the women are beautiful but they have a lot of um um aesthetical doctors that's, uh, yeah that's what my friend told me but the, the women and are uh, and I, the thing that I know that uh, for a gift, the, the girls in, in, the, in, for the 15, mm -hmm. ask for a surgery. surgery. Mm -hmm. Wow. For the first, yeah. And my friend, my friend got married and he almost got divorced in his honeymoon. Because he went to um, Colombia and he told me he went to the beach. They went to the beach, you know, like, wow. And he says that it's unbelievable because the women are almost, like, almost naked. They, they, you know, they Because they are a good, good, um, good body. Yes, that, so that my, is true. my friend told me, oh, my God, I'm married. I'm on my honeymoon. But it was impossible not to look because, like, if you say, no, you you see them there. You go there. You go anywhere. Like oh my god, I can't. I can't. And I, in, yeah, I believe that because in the beaches um, arrives a lot of Europeans, Mexican people, and, and it's a uh, arrives very beautiful people. And there is a uh, you can have a good good views <laughs> for women too. <laughs> yeah. That's what my friend said, man. He said, it's impossible not to look at women. And I know he loves his wife, he respects, but he told me it was impossible not to look. Yes, uh, well, the things that I will, that I enjoy in Bogota is the weather because it's, it's, it's cold and you can use another kind of clothes. Oh, really? And yeah, and it's a very safe place. Do you know More that comedian, you. that comedian um, Rastafari, I think? No, he's Colombian, no. no? No, I don't, I don't know him. <laughs> oh, okay, he's funny. You never heard of Rastafari? I, I, no, I follow a girl that is a, a, a Colombian. It's very, very funny. I don't remember the name, but it's a, a very funny girl. I was going to go to Colombia last year. I had everything ready and uh, because you too was going to be there. And um, 
when I went to the travel agency here and they told me, no, I mean, it's sold out in one day, everything sold. I said, really? Yeah. Yes, if, yes, if, if uh, for me it's, it's cheaper to visit Colombia, it's cheap to visit Colombia, but you have to, to buy it in a in, uh, uh, sale. And, no, I, and I went I went to a travel agency because I didn't really want to go to Colombia. I wanted to go to a concert in Colombia. Mm -hmm. But I know that I had to pay all the travel and everything. And then they told me that, no, you two sold out like in two or three hours. It's so, possible. Oh. Y me dijo, pero va a estar, oh, ¿quién me dijo? El bambino, something like that. Yeah, it's a reggaetonero. <laughs> yeah. And I said, look, lady, I told you, I want to go see you two, the Joshua Tree Tour, and you're telling me Bambino? Yeah, something, yeah. <laughs> you know, vinegar and water. Casi la golpeo por Bayunca. No, I'm joking. <laughs> no, I'm joking. You know, who, you know who are very beautiful, too? Um, Argentinians. Mm -hmm. Mm, I don't know, but um, well, maybe in Buenos Aires. I I haven't been there, but I think uh, uh, the countries are have still or have sold a uh, our own idea about the women's because in the in Venezuela, the the women's are the beautiful women's are created by a doctor. The the normal women are not like Miss Venezuela. Oh, okay. Colombia is in El Salvador. There are beautiful women too. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Go to go to Unicentro in Soyapango, like at two in the afternoon. You're like, what the hell do you live, ladies? Like, wow. <laughs> no, when you go to Santa Ana, when you go to San Man, you see a lot of beautiful women. And you know why they're beautiful? Because they don't know they are that beautiful. They're just natural, naturally beautiful. Chalatenango, the girls' hospital. Yeah. They're very well. Okay. All right. Do you see my screen? Do you see my screen? Yes. All right. Gio, since you spoke, since you said yes first, can you read the first paragraph, please? Where it says reading is fun. Reading is fun. Um, book club members know that sharing and talking about books with others can be very rewarding. Rewarding. For people who, rewarding. Mm -hmm. For people who feel that they are too busy to read, a book club helps them keep keep up with a reading schedule. 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 Actually, look, uh, silent S, schedule. Schedule, schedule. No, but you have to pronounce the S like schedule. Schedule. Yes. Schedule. Now, but a little bit faster, schedule. Schedule. Mm -hmm. okay. Schedule. Others have gained self-confidence by participating in or leading a discussion. And most people enjoy the chance to make new friends. Okay. So, uh, first of all, do you understand what schedule is? Schedule. Agenda. Yeah, it's like your agenda. You know, when you're a boss, you go and you say, hey, what's my schedule today? To the secretary. That's Here what they usually is. say. <laughs> I'm sorry? No. Uh, yeah, you know, uh, bosses always say like, hey, what's my schedule like today? Oh, you have to do this and this and that. Also, rewarding. You know what rewarding is, right? Like a price? For yes, reward? rewarding comes from reward, reward, which is a price. Reward. So it says here, um, books, uh, sharing, uh, Sharing and talking about books with others can be very rewarding. Rewarding. Yeah. 
I wish we had that here, but like a movie, a movie, a movie club. Movie club. That would be very good. Yeah. Yeah. Like, uh, imagine, what do you want to talk about? I want to talk about Pulp Fiction. I want to talk about, I don't know, Citizen yeah. Kane. He said, oh, no, I want to talk about the ending of Fast and the Furious. Like, immediately. <laughs> Out. Out. <laughs> I want to talk about Rebecca. Rebecca, oh yes, <laughs> Rebecca. Oh. <laughs> no, you know, you know what movie I would like, I would like to talk about because it's very uh, American Beauty. How, did you see that movie? Yes. The ending mm -hmm. of that movie is not mm -hmm. really what you think because it's really hard to know who killed them. Oh my God! I'm sorry if you haven't seen it. Somebody, <laughs> you're not right now. <laughs> but you know the end. The end. You, you seen that, Ingrid? The end of that movie is like, oh, okay, it's you know. But no, it's because remember, there's like four scenes. So that's something interesting to talk about. Okay, Ingrid, can you read the next paragraph, please? Okay. <clears throat> A successful book club should be small enough so the quiet people can be heard, but also big enough for many different opinions. The best arrangement is a mixture of ages and backgrounds. Some book clubs met in bookstores, public libraries, or cafes, or even online. But the most have their millions in members' homes. This city offers a quiet space and time for longer discussions. For longer discussions, yes. Okay. Um, do you know of a book club here in El Salvador? No, right? No. I, I heard one in La... You heard one in what, I'm sorry? Long time ago. In La Casita. Oh yeah, okay. I remember that. Like I remember like a cita. Yeah. Okay. Um Carla, can you read the next paragraph, please? Uh, I get lost. Uh, the book club. Yes. You didn't you don't say I get lost, you say I am lost. I am lost. Or you say where are we? <laughs> where are we? A book club could specialize in one subject or type of book, like mystery, science fiction, or biography. Or the members could read all types of books as long as the book is recommended by someone who thinks it would be worth discussing. Okay. Questions? No? Okay. No. The vocabulary, you understand every word, right? Okay. And let's see, Marvin, can you finish it, please? Yes. The, the okay. last part. Yeah. For the meeting, right? For the meeting, yes. Yes. Yeah. For the meeting. To go smoothly, and leaders should be appointed. The leader will usually start a discussion at keeping going when needed. Book club members should never be afraid to offer their opinion, even if they don't like a book. Different opinions make the discussion delivery. livelier. Livelier. Library. Library. Live. Yeah. Live. Livelier. So livelier. Live, livelier, okay. Mm -hmm. I like that. I like discussing something. Yeah, but I don't know. Do you tell me the meaning of livelier? Livelier. Uh, live, well, livelier comes from the word live. Yeah. Have, have you seen like sometimes in a party and you say, man, come on, people, you look dead. I need you to be alive, alive, you know, livelier. Okay. 
It's like you. What are you dissing her, Marvin? Yes, not are to my uh, my father. Listen are, to this song. Are those those iracundos? No, no, no. But no, my father listens to the radio. Oh, okay, oh, cool. Oh, oh. Ah, yeah. No, you know. <laughs> can you hear? <laughs> yeah, I can yeah. hear. Yes, yeah, like a, no, it's gospel music. Oh, it's gospel. Yeah. Gospel. Oh, really? Christian. Oh, I thought it was like something like kind of trova. Yeah. Mm, right. uh, no, iracundos. What would music would that be? That would be. Um, uh, I don't remember. Yeah, algodón. <laughs> algodón oh. is cool. It's another one. Yeah. Oh no. No. Hello? Hello, hello? Yes. Oh, oh God, I thought I lost you. So if you, okay, so listen, number one, it says a book club is only for people who have a lot of time to read. True or false? True. Some members have become more self-confident by leading discussions in a book club. Uh, false. Okay. A book club should have a lot of members with the same opinion. Um, the true. True. A successful book has members with different backgrounds and ages. Yes. A successful true. book club. True. True. A book club could choose to read many different types of books. Mm. False. False, okay. Most book clubs have their meetings in homes of the members. Mm. Uh, false. Oh yeah, false. This was a suggestion, right? Yeah. It's better not to have a leader in charge of the discussion. False. Mm, that's false. true. It's true. Yeah. It's, okay, it's true. Because everybody should be active, remember? Yeah. It's yeah. not okay to dislike a book being discussed. Uh, false. False. Remember at the end it said it is okay because it, to make it livelier. 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 You see? Oh, we got them all. I really thought this one would be. I I really thought this would be true. Okay. So we're stuck. Come on. There you go. So here we have the intro video for four. Let me see. We can hear. It's in mute. You can hear. Okay, sorry about that. <clears throat> can you hear now? Yes. Okay. My name is Matthew Hawks, and I'm a singer-songwriter. Making music is my creative outlet. The way I make sense of the world around me. When I sit down to compose, the first thing I do is tune my guitar. Once the guitar is tuned up and ready, I set up the keyboard. 
The keyboard has multiple functions and multiple sounds. What comes out of me is a reflection of how I'm feeling that day. Sometimes I can spend hours writing one piece. I'm writing this song. I titled it Revelations. When I sit down to write, one of the things I like to use most is a thesaurus. I started with a one word, Revelations. I look it up in a thesaurus, and I could have ten words then each with a different sound, each offering a different rhyme scheme for me. As I saw the sky, storm, I will think about all that's true. The end of the day, if I don't get my way, I wait knowing what to do. When I feel I've taken my song as far as I can, I then bring it to a recording studio. I think it's important to get feedback and ideas from other musicians. Aldous Collins is a guitarist and a friend. He accompanies me in the recording studio. At the studio, we work with a recording engineer. I'm Richard Marr. I'm a recording engineer. My job is to capture music of a band. I go around and mic everything up, it comes through my board. And it's recorded into the computer system here, multi-track recorder. All right, guys, rolling. One, two, three. The recording engineer mixes all the vocals and instruments together. Recording your music can actually teach you a lot. You hear your own music differently. Revelation. It changes your perspective, and you notice all kinds of things that you didn't when you composed the song. At the end of the recording session, I have a digital file of my song. I take my songs to radio stations and try to get them to play them on the air to build an audience for my song and my music. Hi, my name is Melanie Oliver. I'm the program director here at the radio station. The program director's job is to decide what music is played on air. So I pick the songs and tell the DJs what songs to play. Hey Josh, come on in. Hey Melanie. Hey, so I've picked the three songs that we're gonna use for the local music show. Okay, here's some background information. Great. One of the artists' name is Matthew Hawks. Okay. The song is called Revelations. It's going to be a really good song, so I think you should play it on your show. Great. I look forward to playing it. Great. Thank Th you. Thank you. My name is Josh McBride, and I'm a DJ right here at the radio station. The main responsibility of a DJ is to play music on the radio. Other responsibilities include adjusting the volume, speaking with listeners, conducting contests, and reading commercials. Here's a new one from a Boston local. Matthew Hawks did this one. This is Revelations right here on WERS. And now, people all over the world can download it too, which is so cool. If you want to download it, look me up. My name is Matt Hawks. Revelation. At www.matthawks.com. And the song is Revelations. Enjoy. Keep on watching these videos, they give you a preview of what this section will be about. So that was kind of interesting, right? How he chooses to do the songs. Hello? Hi. Hello. Hello. Hi. Okay. 
Uh, we have a musician here. Gio, you're a musician. How do you do the music? Sometimes I heard that sometimes musicians say that sometimes it's very easy and sometimes it's very difficult. Yeah, yes, yeah, that's true. The moment when you're angry or when you're sad is the best time for composing. Really? Okay. Yes. When you're angry or sad, what about when you're happy? For me. Yeah. Okay. I don't like happy songs. <laughs> Maybe for <laughs> that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, or or hop, happy songs or love songs. I don't know. I, I, I do. Yeah. Candy. I don't know. Too sweet. Yeah, mm. that's true. Too like like Bon Jovi, right? Uh, also, I like it. I like to hear songs. Uh, like the, you know. Uh, Cardo Montaner. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> no, not that they have a good song, but to compose a song like that, I I I don't see me doing that. <laughs> what so, I think is very easy to compose is reggaeton music. Huh? Ah, yeah, you got a a pista. How do you say a pista? You got the 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 bass? Uh, no, the the track, the, the track. The track. Yeah, you have the track, and you only have to to talk. <laughs> yeah, say something very stupid. <laughs> and repeat it. <laughs> and repeat it. And modify the voice. Yeah. This, this is not the music. This is stupid. <laughs> it is. Yeah. It's, it's horrible. It's horrible, yeah. No. You, know, you know, many people criticize, but I, I like cumbias. I like merengue. But I like I like watching bands play that live because it's it's cool that you see 20, 20 people in the group and they're making yeah, there a sound. A lot of inter instruments. Yes, and making one sound. Yeah. Like uh, I remember one time I saw Chanchona de Cara here, and they were very good. Like they were making like the strange sounds, like. <laughs> And people people yeah. make fun take of that. They take care they take care with, with the dog the yield. What? They <laughs> care with, with the, the dog. I don't have a dog. Yeah, if and uh, what if the dog is maybe No, I don't think it was Gio. But you don't say take care, you say be the... careful. Be careful. Be careful. Be careful with the dog. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so let me put this down here. Okay, so in this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation about working in movies or using passive. Remember passive voice? Yeah. We did yes. that once. Remember active and passive voice? Kind of. Okay, we'll see, we'll remember. Let's watch this. Hi, if someone tells you that making videos or movies is hard work, would you believe it? Pay attention to Ryan and Nina talk about filmmaking. Movies are hard work. Part A. Listen and practice. Working on movies must be really exciting. Oh yeah, but it's also very hard work. A one-minute scene in a film can take days to shoot. Really? Why is that? Well, a scene isn't filmed just once. Lots of different shots have to be taken. Only the best ones are used in the final film. So how many times does a typical scene need to be shot? It depends, but sometimes as many as 20 times. One scene may be shot from five or six different angles. Wow, I didn't realize that. Why don't you come visit the studio? I can show you how things are done. Great, I'd love to. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What else makes working on movies difficult? So, you see, it's not really as glamorous a job as people think. I guess not. For example, the hours are dreadful. So it's not exactly a nine to five job. Not at all. Sometimes we shoot a scene right through the night, or we may start work early in the morning. 
We have to get everything ready for a shoot, the lighting and everything, and that can take hours. So if we're going to start filming at 8 in the morning, we usually have to be on the job by 3 or 4 a.m. to get ready. 3 in the morning? That's unbelievable. Oh, no, it's not. Believe me, it happens all the time. I wouldn't mind working in a movie. I, I love that. Okay, um, listen, it says, by the end of this lesson, participants will be able to understand and practice passive to describe processes. Process. Um, just a quick, the passive to describe a process. Just real quick, do you remember the difference between active and passive class? Yeah, who, who do the action and who receives the action? Can you give me an example of an active voice? Hello. Uh, okay, so if I say, remember, the, the, the cat <laughs> is going to eat the mouse. Is that an active or passive? Uh -huh. An active. So the cat, the cat is going to eat the mouse is active. Yeah. Okay. What is the passive? The mouse is going to get eaten by the cat. Exactly. Okay. Okay. Yes. So uh, the mouse is going to be eaten by the cat. So the difference is an active voice is, well, you have to understand subject and object. When we speak active, the subject is first and the object is last. In this case, the cat is going to eat the mouse. It's active because we have the subject first. A passive voice is the same story, but we change the subject and object. So we change like this. So we start with the object. So we say the mouse is going to be eaten by the cat. In this case, in this case, the uh, the object is the mouth. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Well, I, the the mouse is always the object. Uh -huh. And this in, in this sentence, and the cat is always the subject, always because the cat is going to eat them. The difference is that when you speak active, you say the subject first. Ah, uh, the, the the subject in the active, active passive the the. The subject is first, and the object, object is last. Is that's in, last. Uh, that's in an active, in, a, in an active. And vice versa. And vice versa. When the in a passes, in a passes, is that the object is the first, and the subject is the the last. It's the last, exactly. But here's the question, though. So what's the difference? Si lo mismo, o sea. Remember, the cat is dead. He's going to die in active or passive voice. So what is the difference then? What did they use? Use, use. Yeah, so, so what is the difference then if, if it's the same thing? Yeah. Uh, the importance to give to the part of the... Um, exactly, that's the difference. It's, when you speak active or passive voice, the only difference is what you want to make important. Mm -hmm. Do you want to make the subject important? Okay, speak active. Do you want to make the object important? Okay, speak passive. That's the difference. Mm -hmm. So here it says, let's pay attention to the passive voice to describe the process. So remember, um, Uh, let, let's listen to this and then we'll do examples. So describe a process. Let's say the photographer takes pictures. That's a process, right? Mm -hmm. But in this case, I said it in, a, in an active way because I said the subject first and the object last. In the lesson, the photo was taken by the photographer. The pictures uh -huh, are taken by the photographer. 
the picture, uh huh. For the photos, yeah, actually, you're right. It's a photo. The picture, Do you know yeah. you you know what's the difference between a photo and a picture? No. Okay, when it comes to photography, a photo is the physical, like the evidence. Like, look, here's a photo. A picture. It's like an image, an image. So that's why people say, picture this. It's like saying, imagine this. Mm -hmm. Picture yourself on a boat on a river with marble sky. Mm -hmm. The Beatles. Yeah. Lucy in the sky with diamonds. With picture diamonds. yourself on the... Man, que fumado que estaban haciendo eso. So yeah, actually, picture and photo is the same, but really, really, technically, photo is the evidence. Photo is the result. Physical. Mm -hmm. Picture is your your you know, like when Leonardo da Vinci did Mona Lisa, he had a picture of his you know like, okay, this is what I want. Okay, so let's listen to the lady here. In this lesson, we'll study passive to describe process. Get your notebook and get ready to take notes. The passive to describe process. Is R plus past participle. A scene isn't filmed just once. Only the best shots are used. Modal plus B plus past participle. One scene may be shot from five or six different angles. Lots of different shots have to be taken. Before we begin, let me review the reasons for using the passive. Number one, we don't know who does the action. Number two, the doer of the action is not important. With this in mind, use the Work with me on this first sentence. Filmed just once. Only the best shots are used. Did you notice the use of B plus past participles? We may also use passive with models. This is the rule. Model plus B plus past participle. One scene may be shot from five to six. Okay, look. My mouth Only the great. best shots are Total plus B plus past participle. Okay, look, it says here, is, are, and past participle. Cola champagne is made in El Salvador, correct? Yes. So here we have is and past participle. And I'm speaking passive. What's the active? ¿Cómo se llama la industria de cola champán? La cascada makes cola champán en El Salvador. But what is saying here in the video, so why, why do you One scene passive? may be shot from five or six different... Before we begin, let Because that's the difference. When we speak passive, it's for two reasons. We don't know who the... who does the action or the doer is not important. Yes? Mm. Ejemplo. Um, pupusas, uh, uh, cola champán is made in El Salvador. Mm -hmm. I don't care who does it. I'm not giving importance. Who does it? I don't know. I, but, but it is Las Cascadas, right? Yeah, yeah. Rami, tell us. <laughs> cola champán is made in Las Cascadas. Yes. Uh, All right. Confirm. Yes. It's Salvadorian. 100. You know what Perfect. I really, really wish, wish, and I hope someday it will return is Popeye chocolate. Ah, chocolate. Uh, uh, chocolate <laughs> Popeye. Ah, Popeye. Oh, yeah. yeah, you remember Popeye. that. Yes. It was good. It was amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know why? Do you know? Sam, por qué se llama Popeye? 
no fry. I just eat. <laughs> for, the, for the comic, Popeye? Yeah, the, the cartoon. The cartoon. His name is Popeye. Yeah, do, you know, do you know what is Popeye? Ah, uh, because the eye, pop eye. Yeah, he has one <laughs> eye pops. Pop yeah, eye. Popeye. Popeye. <laughs> yeah. So it's actually two words, but they just made it one. Popeye. Yeah. Popeye. Popeye. Gran estafa de Popeye, huh? <laughs> Yo pasé comiendo <laughs> spinach when I was a little kid. Y nunca. <laughs> okay, so when we speak passive, it's for those two reasons. We don't know, we don't know who does the action or we don't care. I mean, we don't care, it's not important, right? So, let's see this. Okay, knowledge check, it says, Instructions. The sentences below describe how a movie is made. Complete the sentences using the passive. Let's practice a little bit about passive. Do you know Maruchan? Yes. Do you know that they are made with, Maruchans are made with, um, the bones and, and everything that people don't use of the chicken? Uh, mm -mm. <laughs> yeah, they, they, and the, the shrimp, it's not shrimp, it's, 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 um, synthetic. It's synthetic, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you like, um, you know, like when people say, do you like pupusas? Oh, yes, I love pupusas. Okay, do you know that pupusas are made now with yuca too? How do you say it? No, Excuse me? Yes. Good ones. Mm -hmm. Everybody, yes. I never know. Pupusas with, with fish. Fish pupusas, yes. That's what I tell my family in the United States, you know, like, hey, pupusas have had a big evolution now. Because now you have every pupusa, you know, like a garlic pupusa, you have chicken pupusa. It's not just a traditional. Green uh, pepper pupusa. Green pepper pupusas. Yes. Yeah. Mushroom. As Jaime said, with fish, but you can see the tail in La Libertad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they put the fish <laughs> and, the and the tail, the tail is so sad. <laughs> He's the pen English, English that is the pen of the pescado seco. In el puerto. Yeah. No, I, the, the strangest pupusa I have eaten maybe was a concha pupusa and um, mm -hmm. the avocado. Yeah. Avocado. Avocado. That one was good, actually. Pupusa de ayote. Pupusa, I don't think so. Pupusa, Ingrid, Ingrid, you are, you are test pupusa de ayote. Yes, I really yeah. like and, uh, the papelillo. Papelillo, yeah. Yeah. Papelillo. They are good. Yeah. I, like, I like garlic with jalapeño. It's good. Garlic, that, yes. that good one, yeah. I like, I like when they burn the garlic. Mm -hmm. It's good. Oh, man, now I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Look for pupusas. <laughs> yeah, and I already ate. I hate that. I hate when I get hungry at night. <laughs> okay, so um, so that's why I tell my family, like, hey, man, now pupusas have a big evolution, man, because now they are made from chicken, from fish, from anything. Any, any invention, you can make it now in a pupusa. So I'm speaking passive because... I'm not giving importance to who makes it. And I don't know who makes it. Yeah. I'm just saying that now that pupusas are made from everything. You know, uh, today, pupusas de Olocuilta in whatever place you are, you are appear. Pupusas de Olocuilta. Go to San Miguel, pupusas de Olocuilta. Go to whatever, Usurután, there are 
pedir pupusas de la vuelta. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Man, there is a good one in, in Antiguo. Name it as Jaime says. <laughs> Pupusas de locuita, but they're really good. Yeah. Revueltas are the best. <laughs> all, all the pupuserias are, have three names. Or 80% of pupuserias in El Salvador have three names. Pupusas de locuita, la eh, bendición de Dios, o la, la paciencia. La paciencia, es cierto. <laughs> es un antiguo Cuscatlán. <laughs> They're everywhere. <laughs> I went there one time y le dije, hoy entiendo por qué se llama la paciencia. Are you there? En Comal, I don't yes, know how to yes, say the are. word. I don't know how to say the word en Comal. It's a Comal. Comal. A really good. Wait, what is a Comal, Ingrid? And there is a, a big plate. Uh, es un gran plato. De barro. I don't know how to say that. ¿Verdad que barro sería también como adobe? Mm, no, creo que es lodo. No, no sé. No, no, no porque el, el, adobe, el adobe es crudo y el barro es cocido. Uh -huh. okay. Bueno, el is, adobe es prácticamente barro? es lodo. El adobe es lodo, ¿verdad? Sí. Pero lodo el barro no sé de qué lo hacen. El barro es es tierra también, pero es una tierra especial. El barro es, es, es parte de la tierra, ¿no? Es parte de tierra, pero es una tierra, como le dije, la... no en cualquier lugar encontrarse barro, ¿no? Es, es, es tierra, pero es un algo, es un material diferente a la tierra, ¿no? Sí, Quedamos sí. igual, Jaime. Sí, barro en inglés. Uh, I don't know, and you know, eso le quería decir, that's a very good way to practice something, because imagine you're speaking to somebody from, from, I don't know, from Portugal, y de barro, barro, what is barro? Y ahí es donde se puede It's a special kind of, of, of the, uh, 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 and, and, and land, smooth, maybe smooth, land, smooth. Uh, no? Yeah, one of the best ways to practice English to explain something. Yeah. Explain My something grandmother even... doing in the past uh, uh, comales. But I remember that I put it in, in, in a molder. And how do you say molder in English? I don't know. In a, a base? Six, in a basement. And put a barro in arena. No, no, yeah. What I'm saying is one good way to practice your English ability is to explain something. Because imagine you speak, todos somos salvadoreños, so we know what we're talking about. But imagine somebody from Portugal or somebody from Bulgaria. What? Pupusas. What? What is that? Y ahí les tienen que explicar pupusas. Y no van a decir tortillas with cheese. No. O por ejemplo, el barro. No, des, incluso algo fácil. Uh, por ejemplo, lo que les dije, no. pan con pavo. Uh, oh, en El Salvador, en in, in, in Christmas, we eat pan con pavo. But actually, we don't eat pan con pavo. We eat turkey sandwich. So I would actually say a Salvadorian turkey sandwich. Because if you say turkey with bread, Literally, that person is picturing a turkey and a bread. So, you know, you mm. have to, that, that's how you practice. If you're not like, oh, no, no, it's not that. It's the turkey inside the bread. Ah, it's a sandwich. No, no, it's a sandwich. Yes, it's a sandwich. Cualquier cosa que va dentro de un pan es a sandwich. It's the same to explain pan con gallina. Yeah, pan con gallina. Mm -hmm. Yeah, imagine you are. Es un pan abierto con un relajo de cosas adentro, ¿no? Yeah, you know, imagine you are in Bulgaria. In my country, in Christmas, we have pan con pavo. What is that? Um, it's a turkey sandwich, but it's not like the turkey sandwich you eat. You know, it's a real, real turkey, a piece of turkey between a bread, and we put tomato sauce. You know, that's how you start explaining. Not the only made of salt, they, they put in all the, a lot of, how do you say, more ingredients. 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 Uh -huh. You know, like a, an egg. 
a hard boiled egg. Ah, yeah. Egg. Egg. yeah. Huevo duro. Oh yeah. my God, I'm hungry. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and and the, the sad part is when I open my refrigerator, yeah, only beans. Only beans. Beans and yeah. mustard. In the pups case. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> ah, there's so many. No, it's <laughs> Yeah. It's worse when you find manteca. Yeah. Huevo <laughs> duro, huevo duro is hard boiled egg. Yes. Yeah. If you want to laugh, I confuse manteca with ice cream. <laughs> oh, no. you taste it. <laughs> the biggest boom. Oh no. Vainilla. Mmm, qué rico. Son compasas. Were you alone? I was alone and, and I, I don't know why they save it in, in the freezer. And I, with the spoon, <laughs> and a big, a big piece of manteca. <laughs> one time, one time I drank oil <laughs> because my wife was going to cook and I don't know what happened, but somebody called her and she says, oh man, and she already put a lot of oil. She was going to make like, um, I don't know, nuggets and suddenly yes. she didn't use it and she says, oh no, I'm not going to waste this oil, but she had to leave. So she got it and she put it in a cup. <laughs> The oil, and she, you know, she left it there, and then it was me Sunday morning. I kind of had, you know, I was very thirsty, so uh, I got it. And I drank it. Oh <laughs> my god, that was so bad! <laughs> like for two days, I felt when bad. I was when I was a child, I, I confused with, with a cubito with a candy. A cubito, Maggie. Yes. <laughs> cubito with what? He confused a, a cubito with a, a, with, cubito with a candy. candy. With, a can, <laughs> with a candy when I was a child. I did that yes. Poor of you. Yes. I did that too. I confused uh, really? onions with jicama. <laughs> I was a child. <laughs> Here's a funny story. My mom, my mom, she had a house near near um, Suchitoto, and people took care of the house. It was this lady and her three children, but they were adults. The the three sons. So every time my mother would come, you know, to visit, she always brought things. So one time she brought. Lotion, crema de coco, you know. Mm -hmm. And she told the, the children, uh, los hijos de la señora, you know, hay crema de coco cuando quieran pónganse, you know, cuando quieran agarren. Now that's what she said. And um, <laughs> you, you can imagine what happened, right? Mm -hmm. One of them, he was a big idiot. He got pan francés and he started, imagine, he started getting, putting crema de coco, you know. Because he was like, he was like, really? Crema de coco? And then he started eating. Niña Ana, que fea, sabe esta crema? Y hijo, no, eso es loción. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah, but you know, and he's in Italy now, but I always remember that. Here, here's a funny thing that happened to me once. It has nothing to do with confuse. Well, yeah, it did confuse. Uh, we went we went to the um, beach in Semana Santa with my friends, but this was like 15 or 20 years ago. And when we we're going to the beach, like at six in the morning, we stopped in Oloquilta, you know, the typical stop. And then the next stop was the super in the supercito de by la costa. The, the, mm -hmm. So, uh, no, no, by El Puerto. Well, the thing is that we had to eat outside and there was this big speaker and it had like horrible music. It had like banda music. But, you know, we couldn't hear because lo tenían a todo volumen, you know. 
And then everybody, my friends, man, que música, uh, uh, you know, like, hey, David, you know, I'm a what? Pedí, pedí salsa, o oh, algo. I'm a really? Yeah. Okay. I promise you this was true. And I go to the lady, I'm all, um, excuse me, yeah. Do you have Eddie Santiago? Salsa de pupusa, penejo. And I go, oh. They actually wanted salsa de pupus. But you know, I got confused because I thought we were talking about the music, that it was ugly. So hasta la señora de la pupusa started laughing. Because when the whole table, everybody in the pupuseria started laughing at me. Because, you know, pedí salsa, so I asked for Eddie Santiago. <laughs> yeah, and you know, every Christmas is a story. And um, in my neighborhood where my dad lives, you know, little kids tell me, usted es el de la salsa, verdad? Yes, that was me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was me. Okay, class, thank you very much. We'll continue, yeah. but hopefully we finish tomorrow four. Lesson four, okay? Have a great night. Yeah. Have a great night. Okay, thank you. Bye. Bye.